tidal surge brought the largest influx of seal pups to the East Winch Centre in its 25-year history. When I last visited, it was overwhelmed, staff working around the clock to keep over a hundred orphan pups, many of them very sick, alive. We're pushing on through and the seals are improving, which is great. We've lost three, um, sadly, but the rest are looking much, much better. Numbers in the isolation unit, all of them named after breakfast foods, are now below 40. Greek yoghurt was brought in just yesterday from Winterton. He's fed fish soup through a tube every three hours, and he's on antibiotics and pain relief for a deep wound on his flipper, a possible dog bite. Bathing the wound requires firm handling. He is quite strong, but seal handling is quite difficult. It's quite a physical job, and um, they don't want to be fed, so we have to sit astride them and hold them still and then feed them. So you have to be quite firm, but gentle with them at the same time. And there's the other pair in... Uh intensive care who are coming along okay are they? Yeah there's um, muesli and strawberry compote and they, they're doing really well um, they're beginning to hand feed and almost almost picking up the fish by themselves so they're, they're getting there they're progressing well and you know looking a lot fitter and healthier just it, it takes a long time to get them to feed by themselves so it's a slow process but we'll get there. The good news is that real progress is being made more than two dozen pups are now building up strength in outdoor pools encouraged to compete for the herring and mackerel as they'd have to do in the wild. It costs £22 a week to feed a seal pup. The RSPCA overwhelmed by the public response to a crisis appeal to help the seals. It's been lovely. We've had all sorts of gifts, we've had all sorts of cards telling us that they think we're doing the right thing with the seals. So, I mean, it's been fantastic, the public support. We, we can't thank them enough. They still have some way to go, and it may be months before all the orphans are returned to the wild. But this group, enjoying feeding time in a pool normally reserved for swans, could be heading for open sea in just two to three weeks. Kim Riley, BBC Look East, at the RSPCA Centre at East Winch.